Okay, we've previously talked about ifs, ands, ors, nots, all the logical modifiers in Excel. Uh, now we're going to kind of mix everything together. Uh, and we can talk about how, uh, especially the if statement, if you don't want to write out nested if statements, which I believe we've talked about before. If not, we'll talk about in a future video. Um, that's kind of a pain uh, sometimes to type out. Uh, and we can use things like if mixed with ands to, to do multiple uh, logical pieces together. Um, so if I type equals if and then open up in my logical test, what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop an and statement here. So I'm going to put and. And then I can put as many criterion as possible uh, in here, basically. Uh, I'm sure there's a limit to it. I've never reached it. Um, uh, and so let's say I'm looking for companies in the S&P 500 here uh, that have a dividend over 1%, uh, price to earnings that's below average, price to sales below average, and price to book below average. Let's say that's something I'm looking for. Uh, and so I can go, well, what's... Uh, uh, a below average price to earnings, well it's about 25, we'll call it 25 and a half. Uh, price to sales, about three. And price to book, it's five. Okay, uh, So those are the cutoffs that we're going to use. So I can do equals if. and I, So I want a company that hits all of these things. And uh, dividend uh, greater than one. Price to earnings less than what I say, 25.5, comma, uh, another logic, um, price to sales below three, and price to book below five. Okay, um, so I want to see how many things can meet all four of those. So I close my and statement, uh, and that gives me my logical test uh, and my if. So now I, I, I'm only going to get uh, a value of true if it, if it meets all four of these criteria that we've created. So I'm going to hit comma, give me a one if that's true, give me a zero if that's false. And then I can just double click that all the way down. You'll see down here that 171 of the 496 um, uh, that are here uh, meet that. Okay, so less than... Uh, oh. Not, not even 200 out, so uh, quite a bit less than half. So um, not a lot of the companies meet all of those pieces. Uh, but let's say then I come down here, I start looking through who meets it. We have Ace Limited is the first one, one, and there are financials. Let's say uh, I don't like financials for price ratios, um, and so I need to modify my statement. I, I wanted that to turn to a zero and any other financials that meet the criteria to go away too. Uh, I can do that really easily. I go into my AND statement, hit a comma, uh, and I'm going to say sector, oh, not. A not statement in here, uh, sector equal to uh, financials. Okay, so I can just take financials out. I do need another parenthesis to close that knot and still close my AND um, and stuff like that. So, But now I have an IF with an AND and the AND has a knot in it. Uh, and so now it'll, it has to meet all my four criteria we set up first and it has to not be in financial sector. And so now we just have a, one more layer uh, and you'll see this one should flip to a zero when I double click it down. And now we went from 171 down to 146 companies. So by adding another um, criteria, I can cut down the number of companies uh, that meet my goals here. Okay, um, you know that's that's the basic idea, and we can put uh, again we can switch and or, but basically everything's going to flip to a one uh, that sort of thing because now it only has to meet this or this or this or this. So the more criteria you put, the more things will meet uh, when you do or. Um, uh, but anyway, that's that's how you kind of mix all these together. Uh, the step after that uh, is that we can do like in say time series data, we can then use uh, this sort of thing to then reference itself. Uh, and we'll talk about how then we can use these ones and zeros to kind of toggle uh, events as one uh, on or off uh, and stuff like that. So there's lots of things we can do once you get this kind of basic structure down. Um, and this is sometimes a lot easier than nesting an if statement. Um, not always, sometimes the nesting is better, um, so you can watch my other videos to talk about that. But um, anyway, that, that's how we mix all our logic together. 
uh, and it's a pretty fun little tool to, to know.